Oh, yeah. <laughs> Thank you, babe, for clicking that button. About me, that's in the description link. But right now, this is for all Virgos. This is for my Virgos. What up with it, fam? All placements, sun, moon, rising. I always hope that these messages reaches you in amazing hell. Baby, you know what to do. Would love to have you guys. And thank you for all that support. Hit that like button. There you go, fam. Take the time. Subscribe. There you go. Hit that all bell. That way you do not miss when we get together. That daily conversation for today, Tuesday, August the 6th, double dub four. Oh, yeah, it's so necessary to let you know that I don't know you, so how this message makes you feel, fam, I don't want to know that, right? Keep that same energy straight like that. Anything that you project this way, you got to know it's on its way back to you. Let's check that intention, right? What does that love do? What does that heart be like? Put love out here to the planet. Love changes things, strong fam. You know all about that spiritual gangster. <laughs> your tax bracket never ever matters. You know what? It don't even matter your sign, fam. It only matters your mind, fam. You saw this on your timeline, fam. No circumstances in the universe. Bores. <laughs> right? So we're here to get. Know that the truth will be exposed. With that being said, fam, I'm so ready to jump into this mess. Spiritual gangster. All things will be revealed. Hooray! When we tarot flex and chill, let's run it. I got you back. Welcome back, baby. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's about your style, you know. It's about your truth. If you were led here, I want to thank you. Every message is different. Spiritual gangster. With everything that's been coming out, fam, and it's been a lot. Your day to day. Those things that only you know about. Those things that make you happy, make you excited. Those things that make you anxious. You know, people ask sometimes how you do. Right? But right now, how are you? This is for all verbal places. Cross watch. Anyone that's here most I go. At the present moment. What's going on with my family? How is all of this energy that's going on right now? How is it affecting my family? What is it that they need to know for their highest good? Right now, at the present moment, all verbal placement, sun, moon, rising, please and thank you for your protection. Let's take a look at what's going on with you guys. Wanted to get a good mix up on these. So many new family. Let's get it. Wow. Fam, you could be 32 years old. You could be born on the 5th of the month. August the 25th is I. That number 5 is strong. You could be born on the 12th of the month. I'm looking at August the 23rd, September the 3rd, September the 8th. You could be born on the 18th. It doesn't matter. You're born there. It's this change. Right now, what's going on with you is tremendous change. Right now, what's going on with you is a creative spark. Right now, what's happening in your life is dealing with putting people Situations in their proper compartment. Know what I'm saying? So fam, shine. The universe is calling on you to shine. Whatever you guys have as a skill, a creative skill fam. What I'm looking at is that start where you are with what you have. Make something of it. The worst is over. This is what you have been waiting on and there is no guilt behind it. You guys are trying to find a way to balance this transition, which isn't easy. And you know what that is for your life. Your creativity, you know, being that mom, being that dad, and still trying to make time for yourself. You guys are also dealing with people that want you to feel them. People that want you to latch on to their issues. Right now, at the present moment. I'm speaking to family, condolences, that could be dealing with grief, could be grieving the loss of someone, this could be something, this is a lot of change in a short amount of time, my strong family, you guys could be dealing with an air sign, I'm looking at heavy, Gemini, Libra, or an Aquarius, you guys could also be dealing with a fellow earth sign, what this is saying is family, 
find that passion, create it, and just fall back and shine. That's it. It's already done. Right? And what's done in the dark is now coming to the light. What it's saying at the present moment is that there's somebody that's in heavy grief energy over this transition. Right now, someone could be grieving the loss of someone on the bottom of the deck as I'm saying that. Now, family, you guys may hear of a past, you know, this is for a few select, you know, energy does not lie. When it comes out, I have to put it out there, right? But I am looking at a picture again of Aaliyah. Right now, you all have an ancestor, someone that has passed away, someone that's on the other side that is always with you. I'm looking at spiritual wealth out here, family. That's what's happening in the present moment. I'm looking at being divinely guided. I'm looking at a unique divinely guided path. I'm looking at you. Financing motherfuckers grief. Come on, Virgo. This is for some of you. The message is not. The message is you'll know when someone is genuine. Don't find yourself feeling vulnerable and just letting some shit go. Right now, the universe wants you to stand up for yourself. I'm looking at fam right now that could be recovering from illnesses. This is for so many different Virgos. Run up that thumb up button. That way all family can receive these messages. But you guys will definitely recover. I'm looking at fam right now that likes to spend time in nature. What's going on in the present moment. It's in doing so is where you get your creative ideas. You guys could be from New York. I'm looking at Spinderella. Let's go. Now, I could be speaking to fems, baby. I'm every motherfucking woman. I know that's right. I could be speaking to divine feminines, divine masculines. You guys could be musicians. You guys could be DJs. DJ could be a name. Could be, you know, a nickname. Someone that you know. I'm looking at you pushing through. Baby, what this is saying to me is right now, in the present moment, Virgo, you're being too hard on yourself. Other people see this shine, baby, right? And I understand that you're being humble, but I'm going to break it down to you all the way. What's happening with you right now in the present moment is you are the truth to shit. And other people don't want to admit it. You have a favor that's over your life. And I'm not saying that things don't happen to people. Shit, terrible shit happens to good people all the time. Shit, even bad people. Life is life. But energy does not lie. What if I told you right now? You know, you got it right. You didn't sow any bad seeds, so there's no reason for you to look over your shoulder. Nothing like that, right? That you couldn't fail. If you try, you couldn't fail. That's what's happening at the present moment. Some of my fam definitely are keeping their ideas to themselves. But I'm looking at family right now that, wow, your angels are helping you through this. You weren't believed in. You weren't loved right. Your ideas were shot down. Some of you guys, beautiful voices, baby, could spit like that, could write like that, could pen like that, could create like that. But because things were moving slowly, you might have shared your ideas with people. I'm looking at dream killers. And that shit started from the motherfucking root. No, this shit. Or Virgos. Woo! You guys could be dealing with the Capricorn. I'm looking at toxicity. I'm looking at somebody right now that is grieving your energy. I'm looking at a person right now that is going through loss after loss, fam. After you changed your mind. After you changed yourself. I'm looking at somebody that always. Would use that term, you know, complicated. This complicated situation, you know. I got so much going on. Why me? Right? This could have been someone that had more than you. Uh uh-uh. uh. It's because you have a personal touch. I'm looking at separation anxiety. Now that could be you, fam, right? Or that could be this person. Wow. Let's take a look at the steps that you need to take next. Four motherfucking Virgos, let's get it. Oh, yeah. Run up that thumbs up button. And I thank you guys for doing it. About this transition. 
We see what's taking place at the present moment for Virgos. Yep. Steps you need to take next. Wolf, get to it. And you know that you need to. Some of you all, I'm looking at deep childhood issues. Right? Sending love to you. I'm using that African-American tarot to clear this up. The high priestess to the two of swords to the knight of pentacles. Pisces, Gemini. Taurus, you guys can have those placements as a rising sign. What this is saying is, fam, you know what it is deep down. You know what to do. What this is saying to you, this is giving me mystic vibes, baby, is that you are the master of mystery. You know that people are trying to put blockages in your way. And you know who to block. With that knight of pentacles, baby, this is stability that you are creating, right? You know that you're going to have to let motherfuckers go. Straight like that. And you know that a romance with no finance is a damn no sense. Let's get it for all Virgos, that knight of pentacles. This is slow, steady, wins the race. This is not looking at those numbers. This is not worrying about what the next motherfucker has to say. And fam, if you get away from motherfuckers like that, you don't have that issue. You know that this is a new thing for and you know that cutting your losses is what's leading you to this stability, along with the divine protection that's around. First middle, last initial A. First middle, last initial C. First middle, last initial S. First middle, last initial G. Damn. And we haven't even began to jump into this message. So, taking a look at what's happening with you and the steps that you need to take. Woo. So I'm to think about. Let's roll into this next segment. Welcome back, strong Auntie. Never ever count yourselves out. Right? Never ever cut yourselves short. It's all about decisions, baby. We all got to make them, I see. Whatever this was, you know. You may have tried many times, but I'll say it like this. This shit really never went anywhere. Whoever that you cut off, fam, you know, not your business, but it's in your energy. It's under judgment. You prayed about something. We never ever are supposed to take any comfort in somebody else's ass kicking, you know, in calm, right? You don't even think about that because you know how quick that shit can turn around on you. You know all about energy. But your angels, sick and tired of seeing you being treated this way. It had to get your attention. And what this person did, this was the ultimate no-no. Somebody is back with an ex situation. Somebody is back with a karmic. Somebody is totally living with another person. But I can't keep my eyes off you. I can't keep my nose out of your business. This is a nosy person, baby. Suspect of everything. Know this. A whole sneak. Definitely. This person has the hmm, tooted up booty lips at you. <laughs> I don't like you, motherfucking Virgo. Okay? Fuck you. I don't give a damn, bitch. Right? That's your energy. And this person knows that you don't. So, this thief. Catch what I'm saying. This person who... Did that over and over again. Tried to play on your talk. Tried to play with your life. Tried to play in your face. Tried to play with you, period. Right? Is getting ready to offer you some kind of help. Getting ready to offer you something. That person whose hands, whose energy was all over that situation. Fuck up, right? It's all on you. The way that I'm looking at this person's energy is conniving. Very manipulative. Right? Because, you know, I can't force somebody to do anything. You're a willing participant. So after I hit you like this again, wait, I might try to show up in a whole different energy. Right? Just because it's a present and it has some shiny paper on it, it has a big pretty bow, doesn't mean that what's inside is worth a damn. I am going to dress this up. I'm going to dress myself up. This is a whole bunch of cosmetic work. Uh, cosmetic. I don't know why I'm getting that fan. For some of my fans. I like fake ash. I like to snow people. 
this person, and I try to trigger you, did something, right? And it pretty much canceled Christmas for them. Wow. Whatever happens in the spiritual realms, baby. This motherfucking season may not be so jolly for somebody who has no way of getting out of their situation unless I steal. And the minute that I do that, fam, I'm going straight to jail. I'm looking at a person that has some legal issues. I'm looking at a person that did something, could have been criminal against the law for many of you guys it's something that you know about this person's movements and they're worried about you dropping dime on them whoa have to be to be watching you this whole for this judgment to happen then for this karma to take place like it is baby this retrograde is a motherfucker you had to do one thing get out of the way it's something that a person is working on. It's something that they're sneaking and doing and they're watching just to see if anything is happening to you. I'm looking at a person that is critical of you. I'm looking at somebody that you closed out of your life. This could be somebody, baby, where it's miller time all the time, okay, where the short set. This could be a whole drugaholic out this motherfucker that sees that you have moved on, moved forward with your lives, that you guys are abundant and is watching you. I'm looking at social media. Have you? The run tell that gang? Well, gang stalking. This is more than one person. I'm looking at one, two, three people. So whoever your past person was, whoever your past person is, fam, has a friend. You know what I'm saying? This could be a bro, a sis, put it where it needs to go, a cousin. Somebody that's cool enough to drink the Kool-Aid out this motherfucker. And not to mention whatever it is that they deal with in this karmic relationship. Oh, yeah. I wouldn't got the lowest of the low. I wouldn't scrape up under a skunk's pussy, okay? Found some motherfuckers and brought them along. These people are all up in your business. You are the project. It's heavy spot action out here. It's heavy ill intent out here. And it's also some bad health out here. This person that is watching you, fam, that health card, opening up this message. You guys could have strong Libra placements. Be dealing with the Libra, a Gemini, and Aquarius, the king of swords. To the Knight of Goblins, to the Seven of Swords, I'm telling you, whatever this is that you guys are doing, it's like you're taking your time with it. This is baby steps. You guys are loving it. This is you having your routine, your schedules exactly like you need them to be, right? Some of my fam right now could just be living their fucking lives and it's not your business at all. But fam, you don't stop nothing. One monkey don't stop no fucking show. You could be enjoying yourselves right now. You know, dating, just starting over. After dealing with a relationship like this, fam, taking your time. Checking motherfuckers out. One thing you don't get to do is interfere with my life. I don't care who you are. You need to be balanced as well, straight up. And you don't get to fuck with my money or my work. Fucking with my money is like fucking with my emotions. I see you out here, Virgo. You guys love what you do. And this is going to be lucrative in a short amount of time. Your health is amazing. But somebody else out here, woo, sneaking back towards you. This person could have police issues. This is somebody that's not right. This is a dirty motherfucker that would have continued to do this until they got busted. And that's what's sorry. When the page of swords clears up, the page of swords, this is somebody that's watching you guys online. These are profiles out this bitch. When the king of swords clears up, the king of swords. When the seven of swords clears up, the seven of swords, fam. The judgment is clearing up the judgment card. What this is all about is this will of fortune energy. This new start that you have. What this is about is a fucking narcissist right now that is dealing with themselves and they have no outlet. You know what I'm saying? It's kind of that analogy when you take a fucking pin and you pop a balloon. Pfft, no energy. I ain't got shit to feed on. I done already played my motherfucking self and bit over wide and show Virgo what it is I'm working with. I mean, nasty, okay? I just got a visual. Hey, I'll draw that visual like motherfucker. You know what I'm saying? This motherfucker show out on you. But I'm still willing to do that again. You know life has to be bad for a bitch like this. When I see you guys' it's energy, this is about the good news that's happening for you. I got a problem with that. Looking at this page bones, you guys could be dealing with an Aries. Good news about your families because people are so critical of you. It's like God is blessing. 
Your enemies will be your footstool, especially somebody that's nuts. Straight up. Looking back, I don't know how the fuck I aligned myself to that shit. Well, I am booked and busy. Got a message for you. It ain't nothing but straight gangster truth. Fair? It says no matter what you're going through in life. Remember, right? You got it right. Because family is everything. Stay solid. Stay woke. Woo, spiritual gangster. Understand me? Energy does not lie. And take advantage of every opportunity that is provided to you because like they say, like in life, nothing lasts forever. Nothing ever lasts forever. So this is somebody that you could congratulate wholeheartedly when they were doing well. I'm still stuck there. When 10 years ago I had this job. right? Before I torpedoed my motherfucking life by making bad decisions. This is criminal backgrounds I hit. Oh shit. And this is some old, trying to be, you know, young, young acting, old face looking ass bitch of dudes. You know, we've all seen them. The type of motherfuckers that try to dress like they grown kids, they nieces and they nephews and shit. But as soon as they stand up, they motherfucking knees pop. You know what I'm saying, hey, it ain't about your age. What this is telling me is this is a motherfucker that's so busy chasing bullshit that I'm not taking any time to take care of myself. This person is lazy, spiritually blocked. This is a big nope. With this will of fortune I hear, babe, the page of bones to the eight of pentacles. You guys don't play. You guys could have heavy Libra in your placements, baby. I see you protecting your work and I see you protecting your homes, which is under surveillance, it says. The ten of pentacles. That's why this motherfucker's blocked out of your life. There's absolutely no communication. I'm making shit up as I go. I'm trying to just remember what your energy motherfucking feels like with all that I got going on over here. You are that ray of sunshine. But fat, when this health card comes out, right, that will of fortune came out first. And I'm glad that that came out before this health card. I don't care who is doing what, fat, right? If you were guy to here, you could be the motherfucker that I'm getting ready to put all the way on blast. Because trust, I'm going to do that shit and love it. It's what I does best. Hey, all things. <laughs> will be revealed when we tarot flicks and chill. But fam, if you know it's been a minute, right? If you know in your heart I need to go and get a checkup, do it. Your health is everything that's for anyone. And the first four letters, right? And that word health is heal. You will heal. But this card says ph physicians visit, mental health. Right, this could be vision, this could be dental, a checkup may be needed. But this is if you have dealt with this person message. Because opening up this message is too many motherfuckers out here, baby. That first part of this, right? When we hopped into looking at you, how all of this shit, right, okay, is affecting you. How this applies to you in your present moment and you already know the steps that you need to take and you damn sure do. Masculine or feminine. Leave these motherfuckers out there. You in the ten of pentacles to the queen of pentacles could be dealing with the fellow Virgo Taurus or Capricorn. This is all energy to the five of pentacles. Fat. Clearing that up. Been catching couches here and there. No real place to stay again. That's what's hard on the streets. Because I'm looking at the Five of Pentacles and clearing up the Five of Pentacles is my own deck. Keep it a book deck. I got that supernatural deck out this motherfucker. Some channel messages and we up under this motherfucker message. Know this. Somebody wants to leave you destitute. Somebody wants to leave you ostracized. Somebody wants to try to get your ass sick. Try to block any possibilities for you. That's what makes this person crazy. First, middle, last, initial S. I'm looking at Shanae out here. Shanizzle, okay? Do you ever think, bitch? Shang -a -lang -a -lang. You said something to this person, this king of swords energy, this queen of pentacles, and you got right back to business again, right? Family is everything. This is you taking advantage of every opportunity. This is a beautiful transformation. You're the best thing since sliced bread. Fresh homemade bread. You understand? You that turkey and dressing with that cranberry sauce out this bitch, Virgo. You that warm blanket on a cold motherfucking day. You that comfort pussy. I don't like this shit. 
This is somebody that wants to come and put a groove in your sofa, understand? This is a fake motherfucker. I want to lay up and ask you for something to eat. I want to ask for $10 and, you know, let me use your car to run to the store. Uh-uh, none of that. What you guys got out of angel number 343 could be significant. That could be your address. You guys for sure could be seeing numbers starting and ending with 3. 444 could be something that you guys have been seeing as well. 717-747-737. You guys been seeing those numbers. Definitely messages here for you. I'm looking at a helmet and a motherfucking space shuttle. This motherfucker done got them a little backpack, got them some ramen noodles, got them some motherfucking crackers. You know what I'm saying? A couple of cans of Vienna sausages. I don't know what the fuck about water. Got that motherfucker took the fuck off. This shit that's hitting this bitch, right? What this karma hit, eh? Your mind. Your pockets. Your family. It comes back and it mimics to you what it is that you put out. This queen of pentacles energy, masculine or feminine, baby. To this five of pentacles, you left this bitch out there in the cold and you are sleeping like a baby. The nine of cups. I don't need you to get that. I get it, my motherfuckers. Because if I needed you to get that, I'd still have to go behind you and get that. My motherfuckers, I don't know why I'm getting OCD <laughs> for my fam. You know, not in a bad way, shit. I'm laughing with you, not at you. Because fam, shit, this is me too. Yo, guilty. The label's got to be facing the same motherfucking way in the cabinets. Come on, Virgos, I got you. Put the toilet paper on the toilet roll this way. Damn, I know that's right, Virgos. That strength. You know what's getting ready to happen. You know what this person's going to say before they fucking say it. And for many of you guys, I am clearing it up for you. I am in a whole committed relationship. I just need to be motherfucking committed. Patiently waiting. I'm not letting this shit go to three of wands. You know this. This strength card that's out here. This judgment that's out here. And this king of swords that's out here. Under this judgment. Somebody just thought that if they moved away from criminal activity, the shit that they did wouldn't come back to follow them. That's bullshit. Whoever this is could be a fucking convicted felon. Whoever this is could be getting ready to do some jail time. Whoever this is is broke in a motherfucker and sees that you got it handled. Whether you guys are in relationships or you are single, baby. Energy is clearing up energy. You guys could be seeing 919-949-9999. I'm looking at the nine of pentacles. Clearing up that nine of cups straight up. I got it myself, bitch. And when I say I got it myself, she. The definition of independence. In this energy that you guys are in, she will cut a motherfucker off quick. Virgos, you will disown family members, anyone that's full of shit. Because that five of pentacles lets me know that you see through this bullshit, right? You guys sure be seeing 12, 12. You guys could be born on the 27th of the month. I see you August the 29th, August the 30th in this motherfucker, August the 25th, the 9th of September. Something about that 9-9 nine, nine portal. You know better. You're waiting. You guys could be 52 years old, fam. I am looking at the ship in which tower. Channeled message. It says foretell of an intense love. Strong fellow. Fam. This is coming from love of self. This is coming from putting down some solid motherfucking roots, right? And having something to stand for. Because if you don't stand for shit, your ass will fall for anything. Like I said, you have that personal fucking touch. Yeah, this person still gets jealous. <laughs> shit, this motherfucker is jealous now. This bitch is worse. Will work your nerves over time, okay? That's why this block is taking place. You guys can be seeing 2-2. Two, two. Master number 22, September the 22nd. I see you out here. What the fuck is that? But you discovered that somebody was married to, sleeping with, trying to hide a motherfucking thundercat, a sea biscuit, a duff gully out this bitch. I'm telling you, from you. You know, stand up for that motherfucking sea biscuit, that duff gully, okay? Stand up and clap for that motherfucking baby seal. You went out here and laid up with it. It's like this person has somebody that drives the fuck out of them and it's like, well, damn, okay? <laughs> you should be embarrassed. Try to pin some shit like that against me. Some shit that needs to be fed with a motherfucking slingshot against a motherfucking Virgo bitch. I ain't gonna be able to do it. Cause we stays on some Virgo shit. 
try to recruit me. <laughs> I know. I cannot. Wow. This bitch tried to recruit other people to join them. You's a bad motherfucker. I gotta give it to you. Virgo, your presence is intimidating. This is ridiculous, fat. You realize that past people, they call themselves cool with you. But you picked up one otherwise really and truly. Just wanted to try to play a hand in the demise of whatever you had going on. But I ain't got shit else going on. So I'll use you up until either you run out of shit or you just give the fuck up. None of that shit. In order to have these new relationships that you guys are in, I'm looking at new soul family. And it doesn't have to be that. You know, you guys could be single. Whatever you guys got going on. You have to get rid of this bullshit. You're so unhappy. You'll find yourselves feeling upset and you wouldn't even have any fucking reason to do that. No matter what, still a motherfucking G. Let's go. Talking about secretness. Four, seven, eight, nine. That, that's exactly what happened. Okay? Seven, eight, motherfucking nine. And I thought that you just sit around and wait for me. Wow, the ten of cups. None of that. This person tried to put an ending to anything that made you happy. I'm looking at an individual if, you know, you had children prior to getting with this person. This person could have, you know, it could have been a blended family type situation. Any family that you had around you, it's like they felt jealous of that shit. You guys could be seeing 1010 is out here strong, right? This person wanted to kill your joy so that you didn't want to be around others. This is somebody that when you dealt with them, they didn't like your family around you. They didn't want you to have any other support. Well, this motherfucker's thinking about that now. The four of wands. I'm thinking about marriage, but I'm stuck. I'm thinking about this marriage that I'm stuck in. The three of swords, baby. Yeah, this damn sure manipulate. <laughs> Sex secrets and some more shit. And this third party. Uh-uh. Just deal with it. Now, this for sure is sickness. Wow. Now, when we opened up this message and we took a look at you, the things that are going on in your energy, that death energy was out here, grief was out here. Again, guys, I'm looking at the death card to the tower card with that health card being out here, this person back and forth. No one of this bitch has been blocked. This is one of them hefty sit sack type motherfucking tower moment, okay? Shit just got real for a person so much, but they're not sleeping fast. That cord is back at him. This motherfucker's pacing. There's somebody that is pacing. Somebody that is cringing. In my mind, I would love to be able to make things work out with you just for a second. Again, I need some of your energy. There is a narcissist out here on dry dog. <laughs> There's a narcissist that can't go any further without you. You are the glue. And baby, you're strong. That strength card she. You were strong yesterday, fam. You got stronger the day, the second that you decided to disconnect and leave motherfuckers like this. Especially this ex, fam. Shh, you're stronger today than you were yesterday. And what I'm looking at is your ass is going to be stronger tomorrow and going forth. You know it, fam. And protective over what is yours. Especially if you guys are in new relationships. I'm looking at a person, for some of you all that have moved on to new relationships, that is trying to do manipulative shit. The magician to the ace of cups on its fucking forehead to fuck with your person. I'm digging into your person. I'm trying to make their life a living hell. If I could communicate with that person, I would make shit the fuck up. You know, this is a game, okay? Game on. Because you decided that your life is yours, right? And you're going to live your life. No, fam, what it is is the shit that you can do for yourself. Again, I'm looking at the Migos at him. You guys are being protected. You have a loved one that is crazy about you, right? When we started out this message, Aaliyah came out again. And on this card, fam, it says right here, Dab it. Here's a lifestyle. You guys for sure could be motherfucking G.A. Look at my dad. Dab on the motherfucking hoes. Drop the mic. Walk away, fam. This is soul family. And like I said, fam, you cannot fail. Baby, your ancestors, what's up, bitch? 
I'm looking at that temperament called TTG. We train to go, and Virgo is trained to go. Not playing shit is handled. This motherfucker is pacing and not sleeping because of shit's happening. Boo! I'm telling you, they seeing shit. Whoa, with this high priestess out here, if somebody has tried to send you some fucking death magic with this moon card being out here and this magician card being out here, any type of financial restraints with this two of swords being out here, trying to block your intuition, any of that shit. Whoa, first of all, I take shit like that serious. All these dark ass motherfucking spiritualists and all that bullshit, you know what to expect. This ain't no motherfucking game. If you want to learn how to read tarot, you know, just to have something to do or whatever, you know, whether that's socially or whatever, that's one thing. But I tell people, right, if this is not your call, be careful out this motherfucker, please. This is energy out this bitch. These are people's lives out this motherfucker, you dumb bitch. I'm talking to you. I'm talking to any motherfucker that's out here in this tarot motherfucker community that's sending dark energy. When that shit comes out on my channel, first class and rap it, how you going to enjoy that shit is, baby, up close and personal. Like I said, anything that's projected this way, it's on its way back to you. Anything that's projected towards anyone that's viewing this message, my fam, baby, with no release, that ain't our shit. That ain't your shit, right? Tell them, Virgo. So if you're a dark spiritualist and you doing this shit, Whoa. Whoa. You don't play out here. Let me help you. Let me be, literally, that voice of reasoning for your yam bass. You know, welcome. I'm an equal opportunity healer, and that's any fucking body. It doesn't have to be that a motherfucker's paying for shit, but I'm seeing that out here, which is what got me fucking tight. You can't affect a motherfucking like B. When a person has a walk, what you have a problem with is the most high. That's who you're getting ready to deal with. But a person is in their corner. And the fact that they're just mere existence. I told you, Virgos, your presence is intimidating, low vibrational, insecure ass, non-dreaming ass motherfuckers, right? When that shit is happening for you, that shows that you have no identity. And that shows that you really and truly want to get your issue. Somebody has sent you guys death magic. Somebody has sent you magic to try to shut down your intuitions, to try to shut down your motherfucking businesses. Somebody has tried to send you death magic, any relationships that you are in. Somebody has gone to a spiritualist, I don't know who this third party is, that pretty much has put some kind of roots, I'm telling you, on whoever your person is. And anybody that comes around this motherfucker, that's why this bitch is pacing. I know I don't need to be around this person. God gives everybody right that opportunity god wants to see everybody healed happy and strong so this person is getting the nudges they know right from wrong right to get their shit together i don't want to hear that shit a one-year-old a two-year-old knows right from wrong that straight up you tell them uh -uh, don't touch that baby uh -uh, don't touch that and before they go and they touch that what they gonna do look back at you i don't give a fuck what you say this person knows that what's happening to them and what's happening for them is a result of the people that they have surrounded themselves with. And now I got those people trying to watch you, put a stop to you. You guys could be seeing three, 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 Virgo, building, forget the mess and stack it. And if you out here playing like this, you know what I'm saying, in the spiritual community, enjoy that shit. Because you ain't do a motherfucking thing but wish that on your family. I'm looking at the Ace of Pentacles. Wow. To the Four of Cups. Do you understand Virgo still don't want to fuck with you? This supernatural deck. My fam is getting full. My fam is looking good. My fam got a box of chicken tenders or something. Hey sis, what up shit? The last time I saw this card, baby, one of my family members was literally sitting there. She said eating Popeyes. And I said, give me some of that chicken. Fam, you sharing that chicken? Shit. Virgos are eating good, cooking good. Virgos are spared no motherfucking expense. That ace of cups on its forehead spinning, you guys could be seeing one, 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 eleven, eleven, ain't stop shit but them right there in they fucking tracks and got that shit back immediately. Because no matter what, fam, the ace of pentacles and that four of cups is cleared up by the eight of wands. <laughs> Quick and fast. Quick and fast. So it's like the universe has snatched they fucking portion and gave it to you. Woo! I see what you guys have manifested. Let's go, motherfucking Virgos. It's your bitch. All things will be revealed when you total flix and chill. Let me say this.
Motherfuckers need to sit the fuck down. Bitches need to take several seats. I am bitch back the fuck up and go and get that back row. Take those seats too and just do musical chairs. Sit your ass in each and every last one of them. Sit the fuck down. You set this bitch down. And you ain't have to do a motherfucking thing but stay consistent. Right? Like I said. The master of mystery. Come on, Virgo. Just go and look into it. Don't tell anybody what your moves are. You know what to do. Straight up, that house that you want, uh, yeah. That business loan that you're thinking about, it's going to happen, uh, yeah. Fab, there are no worries. God got you. You don't have to worry about shit. Anything cheesy, anybody that's in low vibration, right? This person wants to communicate with you because now you're in abundant energy. It's faded for you. You guys could be seeing one, two, three, four. It's faded for you. You guys could be seeing one, two, three as well. So messages are definitely here for you. Eight one one seven one one. Let's run it, all motherfucking family, bitch. September the eleventh, Virgo. I'm looking at nine one one. You guys could be seeing that angel. And with this grief energy out here, I cover each and every possible scenario. That you guys have learned how to balance yourselves after dealing with the loss, and some of you guys. Could have lost family, individuals that you know, during 9-11. You know, even if that's not the case. With this high priestess being out here, this queen of pentacles, you guys could be spiritualists. You guys are prayer warriors. You will pray more down. God hears your prayers. Know this. Sending my hearts to anybody that's dealing with grief energy because it's for sure out here. With this ace of pentacles and this will of fortune as well. And these angels showing up. This Ten of Pentacles is telling me that for some of you all, you know, for the love of the shit is the root of all evil. You have family members that fighting over material shit. You know what I'm saying? After a loss of a loved one. Some of you guys as well with this King of Swords being out here and this judge holding back inheritances. This could be family members that, you know, you may not have seen on a regular basis, you know, like a grandfather. A father, you know, somebody like that. And their family members are trying to do some slick ass shit. Greed gets you no fucking way. But this past person that wants to fuck, that, that straight up what this is as a way to try to clear this up. I'm so tired of seeing this shit with this king of wands out here. Baby, you need to make up your mind what it is you want to lay down with. Like I said, you know, one minute I don't go and get a mud dog. The next minute, shit, look at his shoulders, okay? I don't care. Whoever will go for this shit. I've desensitized myself so much that you can bend me over and run up in me. I'm just being straight the fuck up, fam. This king of wands out here. All these different people out here. The king of swords out here. With this moon card being out here. You guys are out here winning. Shoulders back. So if you're in the same sex dynamic, what the fuck, okay? Why even hide it? It's about being fucking happy. Jealousy and envy go hand in hand. That's like first second. Cause first, second, cause wow. why am I getting this? Is a turkey. You guys could be eating turkey. I mean, this is an attitude with arms and legs. This motherfucker always has an attitude. It's like type of bitch that spins around in circles until they get themselves caught up in a pretzel, like they arms and legs get tied together, right? Uh, did I do that? This is one of these goof troop ass motherfuckers. Damn. And got the nerve to be an asshole out this bitch. A whole entire asshole. Wow. What this person thinks about is you guys being a dream team. Okay, see the illusion that this bitch stays in is what I'm looking at with this pace. Because it's like the room around, you know what I'm saying, like a blurry picture. You know, that's what the fuck is going on in my mind. I'm trying to remember what your voice sounded like. It's been that long. You cut this person off. Ain't no self-sabotaging motherfuckers okay in my energy, period. In their mind, they're trying to figure out ways where they can be compatible with you, bitch. All the time that I gave you, you couldn't get it right then. Fuck that and this shit, really. Wants to work things out. I see you guys working your asses off this three of pentacles. I see you guys being patronized for sure. This ace of pentacles. I'm looking at new homes, baby. But this three of pentacles, hey, go for it, fam. Just check motherfuckers out. These are some big deals out here. You know what I'm saying? You gotta pay like you way. I see you out here, Virgo. 
and this uncontrollable lust. It's like the more that you do better, and I know that you're doing better because I got my head so far in your social media or up your ass energetically, right? Wow. It pisses them off. Any new soul family that you have, it pisses them off. And this energy right here, uh, and you're out. Bye. That's everybody. You know that this bitch was community ass. I am looking at Tyler the Creator. I'm looking at J. Cole. I'm looking at Meg the Stallion. Oh, yeah. I'm looking at Trina. I'm looking at Nikki. I'm looking at Tory Lanez. Do you understand when I say the flavor of the year, the flavor of the day? It's whoever wants to play. Why? Wow. To the six of wands. I want victory with you. To the sun card, the six of pentacles. Talking about that balance sheet. You don't have to worry about shit when it comes to money. God will always provide a way for you. With that three of pentacles sheet. That still breaks down to that nine. Now the pentacles already been out here. You got to do this on your own. You can't discuss anything that you're doing. When I say stepping lightly. Like a woodpecker with a headache. With pillows on for shoes and some motherfucking deer foam house slippers. I mean that this six of wands is public success. The public eye. This is viral success. My family could be getting a taste of stardom for real. Yeah, motherfuckers are jealous. You're happy. Balance yourselves. People can just discover what the fuck you're doing. I'm not going to confirm nor deny. Let me say that one more time, alright? Because if you up in this bitch and you cross watching, take it. Like you need to take it straight up. Be grown about that thing, right? She, Virgo ain't got to do a motherfucking thing but them. What you did was help them. Know that this is a catalyst for Virgo. Virgo's motherfucking Ben, I'm telling you, Virgo's the motherfucking break, fam. You didn't know that Virgo was made of all of this. Again, I'm seeing that number 22, that first, middle, last, initial A. This person's trying to contact you to let you know that somebody is fucking hurting you. <laughs> he did it. She did it. Wow, what's really happening is that your ass is still stable. Well, where my fam is right now, wherever you're viewing this message from, you guys could be dealing with rain, could be dealing with storms. I'm looking at some bad weather that could be taking place. Wow. That separation anxiety is real. What this is is... You know, you know the shit never went anywhere. This person never wants shit to go for, right? I just want to be able to play with your fucking mind, but you being the one that got away, you damn right. This is somebody that can't move past this situation. This motherfucker's having problems with the new supply. This is somebody that just cannot be alone. This is somebody that sees that you guys are moving on. You guys are more stable than ever. For many of you guys, I'm looking at somebody that cruises around you pretty much around your crib and knows better. I'm looking at a person that sees, let's go, universe, the star card, I gotta say it. I gotta say it because what's behind the star card, oh lord, shit, the sweetest revenge, there's definitely a setup at play here. The star card is cleared up with my keep it a book deck with the wheel of fortune to the five of cups. This feels like a death to this motherfucker. You have the solution to my life. You can heal me. Right? Again, it's like popping a motherfucking balloon. <laughs> but I think it's not. I'm going to put that into my children. Some of my fam could be single mothers, single fathers, baby. I don't care if we got a co-parenting situation and your ass is ratchet than a motherfucker, right? I don't have to acknowledge that side of you. I don't have to acknowledge your ass at all. I'm pouring my energy into my children. It may be uncomfortable right off, but I'm seeing you guys that are just cordial. If you guys are co-parenting and you have to do that pick up, you know, with the kids, however that works. How you doing? Hello. Hey, baby. Immediately, your attention is on your kids. Fam, what this motherfucker don't like, again, these tooted up booty lips and shit, right, is you. Some of you guys could be speaking on the shit that you guys have been through in the public eye. Even if that's not the case, you know what I'm saying? I'm taking everything that you say, everything that you post, fucking personal. So if you got to pick on your fucking Instagram or some shit where it's you and your beautiful, cute little dogs. You just got two little dogs and you're petting one of your dogs or kissing one of your dogs or some shit. This bitch is a subliminal message. I'd rather have a dog. You'd rather have a dog than me. That's this type of shit. And, uh, yeah, 
bitch because again that number nine is out here near completion on your own. Oh, this is a wrap with the divine out here. But this person tried to cause demises in your relationships with that ace of cups on its forehead. That three of swords fell. Telling people that you are not a lovable type of person. That you are a thief. You know, whatever that it is that this motherfucker did, please know. Narcissists love to turn shit the fuck around, right? Mm -hmm. So whatever problems that you have, there's always a solution. Because God never gives you more than you can bear. So there's always a solution. Right? But I'd rather self-love. I'd rather turn to the things that are flesh-based. You know, I'm not down to go to church. I'm not down to get closer to God. I'm not down to give my life to Christ. This person wants to shame people. This is the type of person that will see someone in church or See someone watching a church service and maybe they get filled with the Holy Spirit and this is someone that mocks them. This motherfucker sad as fuck. That's why you don't let people know. Some of you guys' family members don't even know that you guys like to watch tarot, that you guys are readers, that you guys are spiritual like that, that, right? Because again, that's letting a motherfucker into your blueprint message. You got enough nosy motherfuckers out here that are trying to dig into you with tarot. This is divination inspired as well, baby. So when I see this star card that's being cleared up by the will of fortune to the five of cups, you know this bitch is getting ready to try to return to your life with a setup on their mind. Because what's right behind that five of cups, my fam could be seen five, five, five. You could be born on the fifth, the tenth, the fifteenth of the month, fam. It says plot, con, planning to butter you up to achieve their agenda. This motherfucker ain't got shit. Again, the six of wands. Everybody is talking about this shit. How this motherfucker fuck shit up. It's people literally and they own family. Bitch, you about one of the stupid, okay? Straight up. I mean, driving this bitch for this shit. I can't get in touch with you. Wow. Tell the motherfuckers. I'm looking at Medea again. I hear baby and her friend Ben. <laughs> wow. This is gossip in the community. Again, I'm telling people that whatever happened in that situation, Virgo, you had everything to do with it and that they shouldn't fuck with you. But motherfuckers see that this person's ways really and truly outshine anything that they tell them. I'm at that. I'm at Facebook. I'm at that. I I'm on that Google search engine. I'm at that. I'm on your YouTube channels. I'm at that. This is the type of motherfucker that will donate $3 to your motherfucking cause, fam, okay? Just so that I can feel better about me being a raw fucker. You guys got peace of mind out here. Baby, your futures look amazing. Blessings, I'm looking at joy and I'm looking at two. Hot dog, hot dog, hot diggity dogs. What'd I say? Oh, yeah. Mm. Taking it deep down the throat. Deep up the... Oh, yeah. Mm -hmm. She lying. She lying. And it don't matter. Be honest about it. But when it comes out up in here, hey, these motherfuckers getting together and locking up like crabs. These hoes is on some lickety split type of shit out here. And I want to have you in the middle. Let's rock and roll. So you can get this herpes simplex 10, 20, 30, 40, 50. Ain't none of that shit. And I'm looking at another fucking space shuttle. And next to that is a rocket ship. I got a bright idea. I'm going to take my crazy ass over here to Virgo. Knowing that maybe five hours earlier. I was taking it up ass. Now I'm throat. He or she fam. I'm not washing my ass after I do that shit. I'm just going to go and climb in the bed with the next. I'm about to throw up. Ooh. Yeah. Okay. It's because I got caught. That high priestess energy. It's the reason why Virgo stop moving around me. Stop fucking with me. This person wants to speak to you. This third party. Somebody is getting ready to get in touch with you. It's something that this person has said. It's not adding the fuck up. That's why it's like oh shit. I know I have really ruined any chances. These are bad investments that I'm looking at. And I'm looking at you all fam. This motherfucker's trying to manifest you back. You pretty much have a green thumb. Some of my fam could have some beautiful plants. Vines I'm looking at. If you guys are thinking about getting plants and you do not fam. I would encourage you to do that. 
things are growing around you. You are breathing life into your life. You are breathing life into your children. You are breathing life into others. Some of you guys are that inspiration. Shit. Channel messages for all Virgos. That's the way to own shit. Start first with that child, that inner child. I see you guys healing those childhood wounds for sure. Let's get it. Wow. Judgment is out here again. Judgment. This person that judged you, these people that were critical of you, you see what's happened, baby? World is falling apart. And looking at this young acting old face bitch fucking dude, right? You know, karma will let you stack that shit on up. This could be shit that went back to my 20s, you know, if this person is in their 40s, so to speak. You know what I'm saying? Oh, yeah. Cycles and cycles of all that shit. This is health issues that are creeping up on a motherfucker for real. Says here, guilt trip. Damn, for all Virgos, liar, overly sexual, scam artists, plot artists. This is a mentally unstable manipulator, drug addictions, a thief, a con. Wow. Body issues. Body image issues. Wow. I did say something about that. Thinking about maybe getting some body work done to each his own family. It's nothing wrong with that. Whatever makes you feel good. But make sure one thing, you know, because of this BBL nation that we live in, right? That you're doing that for the right reasons. It's not because of the pressures that are out here and they're definitely out here, right? When we're real with ourselves, man. Make sure you're doing it for you. But God wants you to know, fam, you are beautiful just the way that you are. Perfect imperfections, right? Embrace them. But it says here, body shape. Thinking about having body work done. Sending you guys a hug. And this could be this past person. This could be this karma. Says he is still not over you. Still not over this. May never get over you. Your energy is unforgettable. Hell yeah. Right behind that star seed it says. Star seed. Wow. A few bad chapters. Doesn't mean that your story is over. Wow. Intuition. Dream. You're getting dreams. You're getting signs. Tap in. It says here red flags are being shown to you. Uh, it says bitch sit the fuck down. Damn it. It says here rebound situation. And it's showing someone sending you evil eye. And they kind of have a frown on their face like you know I ain't shit I can do. I know why it's like this. But I'm still going to try and this is why the card that's right behind that. It says impo impulsive actors. Sociopath. Narcissistic. A dangerous person demonstrates traits and symptoms of both narcissistic personality disorder, MPP, and antisocial personality disorder. Right here, last message. Trying hard to trigger you with all this bullshit. Hot damn, who's doing fucking what? For all Virgos, give me a call. Any and everything Virgo. Any and everything, Virgo, please, and thank you. And baby, before we end this, give my fam some inspirational messages just for their angels, their spirit guides, going forward. Yeah, for Virgos, who's doing what? Give me a few. Says here, needs to come clean, wants to come correct. They really want to. Just embarrassed by their behavior and the outcome of this situation. Can't face you. You guys could be dealing with the fellow Virgo. I'm looking at Virgo. Hey, fam, it says, uh, no. Absolutely not. And that's something that you said to this person opening up with this king of swords. Fam, when you fuck with an earth angel. Damn, let's go. It says speak it to the universe, fam. Tell them your wishes and your desires. Then just do your part. What a sign. Cancer, Pisces, Scorpio could be significant, baby. This is just for you. It says if you need Ned Reed. Woo! <laughs> Here we go. Sage. Sort that. Meditation. You've been feeling the need to cleanse your energy, your space. Message. Aquarius. Leo. Cancer. It says facts. Lied to others. Tried to make you seem unfit. Called you a criminal. First, middle, last initial. N as in a. Uh, no. Could be significant. It says here disaster. The number 30. August 30th Virgos could resonate. Something about Leo. Leo placements is out here. Happy birthday to all Leos. First middle, last initial D. I'm looking at Libra. 
Gemini Heavy Air is out here. It says, message, left something at your place. An excuse to, mm, mm, mm. could be a lie. Definitely a motherfucking lie. says, here, two-faced, not everyone who appears kind and generous towards you, okay, has your best interests at heart. You know this, Capricorn, Libra, Cancer, or Leo could be significant. First, middle, last, initial O. First, middle, last, initial F. Told somebody to fuck off. Let's go. Or Virgos. I heard that black truck could be significant. A black vehicle, baby. Said a bitch was cruising around you. Spiritual hours. This could have something to do with an Aquarius. Something to do with an Aries. Middle of the night between 2 and 4 a.m. Spiritual hours. August the 24th. Virgos. I see you. Angel number 888. Take control of your life. What goes around is coming back around. This is associated with karma and rewards for your efforts, baby. It says right here, wow, all of this for sex. Africa and the motherfucking built. I'm looking at South Africa. African American, you could be of African descent. Everyone's welcome. Thank you guys for being here. Somebody could get a DUI out here. Last name Diaz could be significant. Somebody's getting a dose of their own medicine. Medicine. And that health card being out here. Anything that comes out in the spiritual realm. Somebody wants back in. Somebody wants back in with you. And baby, if you know, you know. When this card comes out, IUD. You know what it is. Baby, it says travel. That ace of pentacles is out here. Sag North Node could have messages here. You could have a Sag North Node who? You Virgo. That hermit energy. Definitely earth angel energy. That temperament's card, Sag North Nodes, Hermit, shit. First, middle, last, initial, C, W, B, M, or R could be significant. Let's get it. You guys could be from the Bronx. Mm -hmm. You guys could be from Mississippi. You guys could be from Rhode Island. You guys could be from California. You guys could be from Michigan. AR. You guys could be from Arkansas. What up to all my family over the world? Says here, Divine Feminine. Could resonate with this. Let's get it. Says here, baby, you lost something in your house. You're going to find it. Not trying to. Damn. Says here, baby, superficial charm for all Virgos. First, middle, last, initial V. Could be significant. And we had the initial D out here. Somebody is thanking them all. Fuck, I ain't so, who pooed it. Okay, somebody is smelling like who pooed it. Somebody's walking around this bitch smelling like two booties and a foot. I'm looking at B O. Overgrown motherfucker. I hear smelling like fart. Ain't none of that, baby. And I'm looking at V D. Woo. All Virgos, let's get it. Medium bill could be significant. I know. <laughs> hey Sam, straight the fuck up. I'm looking at June, okay, cancer placements, a June cancer could be significant again. That Sag is out here, Sagittarius says, baby, can't eat, can't sleep, worry about you. Gemini, cancer, Leo, or Taurus, again, strong cancer placements. Somebody is amazed. It says amazed. Fam, this is a master manipulator, okay? And the word man is on the line. But right, this could be a masculine. Put it where it needs to go. Gender's non-specific. And Tarot straight up says this player met that match. Death of a player. The player got played. And you know, fam, with this death energy being out here, I don't even want to go there. Protect yourselves. You already know. Says straight the fuck up. A liar. First, middle, last, initial. M could be significant. MP, with uh, the King of Swords being out here, military police, you guys could have been in the armed forces, could have, you know, could be in the armed forces, baby, just something that's standing out here, Pisces, Taurus, Gemini, again, there's Sag, Scorpio, specifically, a water sign, it says here, this bitch scammed you out of dot, 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 hot damn, let's go, the first out of my, the first born day, could be significant, my fam for sure could be seeing zero, zero, zero. Woo! Says abundant minds. You guys could be born on the 12th of the month. Wow. August the 27th. Virgos in the building. You guys could be dealing with an Aries. Now, any signs that I call out, fam, all right? Also could have messages here. Let's go. You already know it says cleanse your aura. Cleanse your energy. Spiritual baths. Make sure that safe, that protection is on because of your ex. First, middle, last, initial X. 
I'm looking at Aquarius. Aquarius is out here strong. Fam, you could be seeing 333. Three, three. That trinity. Mind, body, soul. You are in the zone. Express your true authentic self, fam, and just go. Too many people in your energy. It's lit for you. Straight up. Baby, energy does not lie. Says here you guys are sweethearts. That number 50. You could be 50 years old. Be celebrating your golden this Virgo season in a short amount of time. Let's go. First, middle, last, initial, I. S. M. T. L. Or D. Could be significant. You need me, but... Oh, keep it on. The DL is out here, okay? Somebody's dick is lit up because they on the DL. Somebody's motherfucking moochie is lit up because they on the DL. Trying to hide that shit. Something is lit. Somebody is burning, okay? Somebody got a small package or some small D. I'm looking at that out here as well. What up, all my fam in Dallas, Texas? I see you guys. Whoa. You guys could be from Louisiana. You guys could be from Illinois. Divide masculine, I see you out here. Mister is out here. Could have been someone that you were married to. Final call. Or Virgo. Sensitive situation. That number 27 is out here. You guys are surely mirroring one another. That angel number 27, 27. Please go and definitely Google that and see what your white light gangsters want you to know. But what I want you to know is Virgo. That's been your motherfucking re family. <laughs> Got you. Love you. And tomorrow are the warning messages. And you know, okay? AKA, I'm 50, AKA, a bitch can't wait to be telling, okay? <laughs> Welcome to all the new fam. Hi. Lady. Gator, <laughs> Bobby. Mm. Grown folk situation right there. Right? Mm -mm. Cleansing your energy is so necessary. So many people pull it on you fast, right? Protect yourself. Protect your dreams, that abundant mindset, right? That empathic nature. You know, this crazy ass person is. Ooh, ignorance is a virtue. <laughs> you know, fam, ride this bitch into the wheels for off, right? You know, new fam, I want to thank you guys if you're still here, fam. You have not subscribed enough to have you click off a button. You didn't get it. There you go, babe. And you guys already know I appreciate that love, that support. Any platform, any reading that you view. Anything that you go and check out, especially here on YouTube, it really helps out that channel. Hit that like button. Thank you guys for that love. Right? If you're rocking with your bitch, hit that like button. I'm going to go back and view this right here myself, talking about grown people's situation. Talking about leaving an impression on motherfuckers and you being so pip tight, baby. So intimidating to other people that they go and get a plethora of motherfuckers to try to come against you and get nowhere. Point blank, Perry. I just can't let you go. Whoa. I'm going to let that ride out right here. Later, kids.